Hello, my name is David and welcome to Start Smart. In today's episode, we are going to have a peculiar and a unique type of workout. I usually try and include a vast number of people or a vast number of age group. And today we are going to have a workout that is made for children. So I hope you are ready for this one. It is a fun workout. So if you have a niece, a nephew, if you have a son, a daughter, or if you have a younger brother or sister, this is the one for them. It is a fun exercise. You could also do it with them because it is fun, it is simple, and it is just going to, it's a workout that ensures that they have fun while at it. Make sure they also have the bottles of water and they are dressed properly and ready for this work. Oh, star jumps. So you want to make sure that they are having fun. It is not a workout that is very strict on the workout form, but it involves a lot of jumping because children, as we know, it have a lot of energy to spare. And this is that workout that just involves and helps them put that energy to good use. So we are going to start with our jumping jacks, our star jumps. We have 10 seconds left. Yes, we are switching to the next workout. Now this one is simple. We're just going to be crossing our legs. It's this simple. It's called a cross jump. Cross jump. So you cross up, and you cross up. You want to make sure you're having as much fun as you can. We have 20 seconds left. In three, two, one. There we go, we'll take a 30 second break and then we'll repeat the whole thing again. Starting from the jumping jacks and then going to our cross jumps. Now what do you want to ensure, and what I want to insist on this type of workout that is made for kids, you want to make sure that they're having as much fun as they can, and that at the end of this type of workout, that you give rewards or you set targets for the one, for the ones or for the children that try, the children that try to give the best version of themselves at it, or try to exert the most energy, or just try to get better at it. We are going back to our cross jumps. After our cross jumps, we are going to go into our star jumps. We have 20 seconds of the cross jump left. In five, four, three, two, one. Yes, we are going to go to our star jumps. Now there are always modifications for this type of jumps. You can just have them step back and forth. But I know children are very enthusiastic and they want to try and do it to their level best. So if they can, they can still use this one. And they're using both motions. In three, two, one. There we go. We have our 30 second break. Make sure that you stay hydrated. Make sure that you're having fun. We're jogging on the spot. For the next workout, we are going to have our frog hops. And we will have our step backs in two, in one. So this is our frog hop right here. We just open wide and touch the ground. It's that simple, here, here, and you touch. There we go. 
For this, the modification is simple. It's one, two, touch it in, out, touch it in, out, and touch it. There we go. We have five seconds to go. And then we go to our step backs. Now this is the step back right here. And you're wondering how simple this is. Yes, it's that simple. But if you want to make adjustments to it, it's just increasing the intensity of the step back. There we go. We have 20 seconds of a step back left. In three, two, one, we have our 30 second break. We repeat the whole process once again. While on a 30 second break, we still want to march. And because this is children, they can just march around and jump around and bounce around, spring around while they wait for the next phase or while they wait for us to repeat this whole phase once again. In three, two, one, let's go for our frog bumps. There we go. Nice. Twenty seconds left. Three, two, one. We'll go to our step backs. There we go. We have 15 seconds left. In three, two, one, we have a 30 second break. For the next workout, we are going to have our step in, after which we are going to have a two step jumping jack. So you want to make sure you're jogging on the spot. Hydrating, taking the sips of water. It is important to drink water. There we go. In three, two, one, we're going for step-ins. This is a step-in, it's just simple. You could add a bit of arm movement right there. Make sure you're still having fun with it. We have 30 seconds of the step ins. We have 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, there we go. Two step jumping jacks. Sorry, yeah, it's the two step jumping jacks. It's one, two, one, two. It's that simple. Now, if you start to feel your arms getting tired, you can bring them to your side. But as well, because we are having fun with this, you still bring the back up. You 
you can add a bit more energy to this. In three, two, one, there we go. We have our 30 second break, after which we'll repeat the whole process once again. We'll start with our step-ins, go to our two-step jumping jack. Make sure you're hydrating and also jogging on the spot while at it. In three, two, one, and there we go. We have our step-ins. Now the arm movement is an arm movement of your choice. You notice I started with this. You can bring it up here or here for those who are interested in adding punches to it. A punch, bring it back up, bring it back closer to your face, or both of them rather. Great, we have 15 seconds left. Two, one, two step jumping jacks. We have 15 seconds left of the two-step jumping jacks. In three, two, one. There we go. We have a 30-second break. 30-second break. You want to make sure you're still hydrating and jogging on the spot to get as we finalize the workout itself. In three, two, one. What we want to do is just kick legs to stretch them out. There we go. Arms as well, want to flex them our shoulders, there we go, on our waistline, try and balance on our left leg, five, four, three, two, one, balance on the right leg, four, three, two, one, we want to rotate our wrists, three, two, one, Three, two, and one. Now, as we get to the end of today's episode, there are a couple of things I'd like to highlight. Now, when working with kids, you want to make sure that your workouts are as interesting and as fun as possible and not complicated, very simple things that involve just a lot of jumping and having fun. And the best way to get children involved is to make sure that you have a target and that everyone, oh, Everyone who tries to achieve the target is rewarded for it. And as, the, as I said, make sure they have fun and they stay hydrated as well. I'm so happy that you were able to join me for today's episode. My name is David and I will see you in our next episode. Stay safe.